Well, Yvonne started by asking you whether the loss of Shinzo Abe as Prime Minister means a stop to Abenomics. After all, he was the architect. What happens next? Do his policies continue? I think his uh, you know, policy will continue. Uh, whoever succeed him, Mr. Suga, for example, uh, has been following his, his policy for a long time. So I don't think there would be any major change of uh, Abe's uh, economic policy. Oh, I, Sakaki Barasa, I was just wondering, and when it comes to the structural reform, some say, some critics have said that Shinzo Abe perhaps wasn't successful in achieving things like womanomics and, and fixing the, the structural problems like aging demographics in Japan. Will the next leader be able to carry on structural reforms which Abe couldn't see through? Well, you know, uh, what is structural reforms uh, is the issue. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, whoever succeed, Mr. Suga or Mr. Kishida, uh, would, uh, you know, continue on, uh, you know, uh, following economics. So whatever uh, was not achieved under Mr. Abe would be at least pursued by his successors. Uh, is there anyone that you think is fit for the job? Well, uh, there are two big contenders right now, Mr. Kishida and Mr. Uh, Suga. Uh, Mr. Suga has been supporting Mr. Abe uh, by, uh, you know, in, in the cabinet. And uh, Mr. Kishida has been supporting Mr. Abe from the party. Uh, you know, one of the two. Uh, would uh, become the prime minister, I think. <clears throat> but to whoever takes Who's over, the candidate, it's a continuation of Abenomics. So that means that uh, the objective I, is to keep on having a weaker yen? Because I think last time we talked, you were suggesting that the yen would strengthen. It hasn't strengthened substantially since then. Uh, what is the policy with regards to what goes on with the currency now? I don't think uh, those politicians do have any explicit uh, currency policies. Uh, currency matters are essentially handled uh, by the bureaucrats, by the Ministry of Finance officials. So that, uh, you know, if either Mr. Khan or Mr. Uh, Kishida uh, takes over, uh, it doesn't really have major impact on the currency policies. Now, tell me, Sir Kakibara-san, in your view, has Abenomics worked thus far? And what do you think needs to be done? What reforms need to be carried out to, for the economic policies of the government to be more effective? Well, I think Abenomics, uh, you know, has worked. Uh, you know, uh, equity prices has risen after uh, the takeover of Mr. Abe. And uh, you know, exchange rate has uh, sort of uh, uh, softened, so that uh, you know, a gross rate of uh, the economy has been averaging around one percent, which is quite uh, quite a good performance for mature economy. So that I think Abenomics, uh, uh, you know, uh, as a total, has succeeded, and uh, whoever takes over would continue on this policy. Absolutely. And this, the second part of my question was, what tweaks do you think need to be made for the government policy to be more effective? What, what, new, what new measures or what, what, what do you precisely mean? Well, what needs to be done in order for the economy to get going a bit more, especially in this time of the COVID-19 pandemic? Well, uh, you know, it is not the result of the policy at this moment. It is because of the pandemic. So that uh, immediate task of uh, uh, the government is to control this pandemic. You know, uh, it, it may be difficult, but uh, that should be the major target.
And so Sakaki Barasan, you mentioned about your, your two picks, I guess, for who could succeed Shinzo Abe. It's interesting because uh, Shigeru Ishiba, the former defense minister, has been seen as, as probably the most fit uh, for, from the public here to serve as the next prime minister. Why is he not in your favorites? Well, Mr. Ishiba is not popular among the, among the party people. So that if you have a general election, you know, he may win. But uh, uh, within the party, you know, his popularity is relatively low. So that I think there's a, a small chance that uh, he would uh, become the next prime minister. In terms of the economy, how much fiscal room is still left? I mean, Japan's still dealing with this COVID situation. There's been a, a, a lot of criticism of how Shinzo Abe has handled the overall pandemic. And, and does the country's deteriorating budget position raise concerns about the long-term fiscal outlook? That's right. Long-term fiscal outlook is rather sort of uh, uh, dim. But uh, I think at least in the short run, some fiscal measures could be taken to activate the economy to recover the economy from the pandemic.